welcome back now in this video we will implement the recruitment right down in here there will be the text for the recruitment and there is going to be the status if it's on or off with a beautiful icon we will implement that right in this video and we will only show the recruitment for the current user who is going to be online with their specific job that the user will upload so now let's go and start working on that so right down in here below this row in here first we will create an instance firebase auth there we go with the suggestion dot instance we are creating that instance for the current user as I tell you who is going to be online with their specific UID and then we will say if that not equal to in here we will say widget dot uploaded by then writing the if in here we will show a empty container now right in here else we will show the requirement for the current user as I told you before so right in here we create that instance as you guys can see right in here firebase auth authentication for the current user with their specific UID and we will check that if that not equal to the widget dot uploaded by then we will simply write in the if show the empty container and if this is going to be uploaded by the current user it simply means that if that current user with a specific UID if that equal to the widget dot uploaded by it simply means that if that job is uploaded by the current user only in that case we will show the requirement for that current user who is going to be online and that's going to be right in the else I hope you can get the idea now let me tell you one more time if that current user with a specific UID not equal to widget dot uploaded by it simply means that there's not going to be equal to the current user who is going to be online so in that case we will show the container right in if as you guys can see right in here and if the current user with the specific UID is that equal to the widget dot uploaded by it simply means that that is going to be equal to the same current user so only in that case we will show the requirement right down in here with their status on and off so the requirement that we are about to create only the Zine Malik that the current user who is online that user will only access to that requirement and if he wants he can make changes right in the requirement but if the other user will be online and come right at this job he will not have the access to that requirement because that current job belongs to the Zine Malik and he's the owner of this job that's why right in here we wrote it like that if the other user can we will show the empty container and if it's gonna be the same user then we will show the requirement right in here in else so let's work further in here we will uh, have a column widget in here comma take this down first we will set the property cross access alignment it is going to be right at start cross access alignment dot start now remove that in here we will have a children right in the children we will make a divider and you guys already know we implement the divider widget okay so in here we will call upon that right in here as you guys can see the suggestion we will notice that right in the app whenever we will test the app first let me complete that now let's move further now we will show the text so in here text widget and right in the text in here comma string in there we will say document that's the text and now we will do some style for that as usual text style 
first we will set the font size we're gonna set it to 18 and also let's give a color colors we will go with the white now let's set the font weight for that it is gonna be bold so font weight dot bold in here comma scroll down so now I will simply show you the output there is going to be the divider widget okay and that text I'm about to show you that so simply come here and just hold to load the app we are on the job screen now now we will simply go towards the job detail screen clicking here and there we go with the recruitment tax and there we go with the divider as you guys can see right in here so it's working fine now let's move further as I told you before we are gonna create the status on and off so for that right in here in the row in this card is gonna be a little down in here okay we will create some height just in a while and then we will implement that tax button for on and off so let us go and work on that first let me have the science box in here so there is going to be the height we will give it to 5 so in here press the control s and there you go with a little height so we will have that tax button for the on and off it's going to be right in a row in here and in here it's going to be like that right in this card so below this size box in here we will say row widget in here comma and tag this down first we will set the main axis alignment we're going to set this to center okay it's going to be right in the center and we will say children right in the children you will have that tags button it's going to take the on press event and also as you guys can see here the child for now you will just remove that you will add it one by one so in here comma and take this down first it's going to take the on press as you guys know already for now we will leave this on press event empty first you will complete the UI design for that tags button okay now down in here you will say child and right in the child we will have a text widget the first text button that we will create it is going to be for on so let us go with the text we will say on and let's do some style for that so as usual text style and first we will save the font style font styles gonna be dot italic that one and right after let's set the color for that so colors we will go with a black comma scroll it down so right after the color you will set the font size font size is going to be 18 now we will set the font weight it is going to be font weight we will go with the dot normal the comma all fine now you simply press the control s and you guys will notice that tax for on control s there we go with the on tax button okay 